Dear viewers, welcome back to our series Ask Dr. Doshi. Here we are addressing one of the most frequently asked questions and this is the second uh, video in this series. Today we are going to talk about whether there is an age criteria for deep brain stimulation surgery and whether it is contraindicated or not advisable at a particular age. The common sense tells us that as the age increases, the risk for surgery always increases and hence patients are apprehensive about getting operated and at a late age. But is this actually true? Is our fear well founded? Let me try and make you understand exactly how the age works. We will be talking about elderly patients only, though we have operated sometimes patients as young as 16 year old, but we will not talk about that. Let us come back to the elderly patients. Unfortunately, Parkinson's disease is a disease of elderly. So it doesn't strike you at the age of 20 and 30. It only comes after 60, most of the commonly, most commonly. However, as the age progresses, the incidence of Parkinson's disease continues to rise. In the eighth decade, it is way higher, almost 10 times higher than what you would have got in 50s. So if this disease is going to strike you at a late age and if this disease is going, causing some form of disability or affecting your quality of life or affecting your daily activities and it is not being adequately addressed by the current available best medical management, then we have to consider an alternative because the lifespan of Indian population is continuously increasing few years back or decades back the lifespan was up to 50 years now it has reached up to 70 and 80 years so if we are going to live longer then none of the patients or none of us wants to remain disabled and is there a solution for this and that is what i want to address it today so coming back to the original question can this surgery be offered in elderly we also had this question in our mind and hence we conducted a research project at Jaslok Hospital almost 7-8 years back. In this research project, what we did was we randomly selected 20 patients who were less than 65 years of age and 20 patients who were 65 and above. 65 is considered one of the clinical criteria for defining elderly in science and medical literature, especially for DBS surgery. And hence we use this age as a cutoff. And in our study, what we found was that the outcome for both this group was exactly similar. The amount of levodopa reduction was slightly less in the elderly group of patients and more in patients who were younger. But apart from that, the clinical improvement, the duration of improvement, the symptom improvement, all was similar. So what was different in this? We found that some of the elderly patients had slightly increased rate of complications, which is understandable. And hence, almost last 10 years, we have modified our technique for doing surgery on elderly patients. We have made it very efficient, swift and precise. Because of this, the total duration of surgery that is spent in the operation theater for the patient is much limited. Also, we staged the surgery into two stages and hence the, the patient can recover between two surgeries. All this has helped us to reduce the rate of complication. We have operated patients as elderly as 84 and 85 year old also. So years of life is not a barrier for undergoing surgery. Yes, a patient who is very frail at 70 versus a patient who is relatively fit at 80 is a different ball game. So we are very careful in assessing whom to offer surgery and whom not to offer surgery. If the patient's physical condition doesn't permit for him to undergo surgery or undertake surgical risk, then we ourselves will tell that no, please don't think about surgery. I think this is the best that we can do and you continue with the best medical management. But if patient is physically fit, relatively healthy and not having major comorbid 
medical disorders then he should be offered surgery it is up to the patient to decide whether he would like to undergo surgery or not the relatives for them to get confident but it is always worth exploring the possibility before cancelling it out so i hope that i have addressed this question that yes surgery in elderly is possible there is a slightly increased risk but if the center where you are getting operated has understood this and plan to prepare themselves to avoid all this then it will be much more successful this is an interactive channel this is a channel for you between you and me so i would like you to put down all your comments or questions that occur to you the questions that you want me as an expert to address or answer to be put down in comment section so that in the next segment of the video we can collect all that and share adequate and relevant information pertaining to that